You'll never change it As sure as the stars shine above They are nobody till somebody loves you So find yourself somebody Thank you very much. Now, ladies and gentlemen, may I introduce to you your host, your birthday boy himself, the owner of Christoph's, Christoph Cole. Yeah! All right! Thank you, thank you, everybody. Thank you, Johnny. Johnny... I got something special for your birthday. For what? I know it's your favorite. Oh. Charlie Stone, how are you? Glad you could come. Hi. Glad to be here. But why did you put me at a B table? You're a B movie producer, aren't you? Ah. <laughs> Matter of fact, you're doing a little casting tonight, aren't you? These talented ladies are starring my latest production. Oh, do tell. Beauty and the Beach. <laughs> ladies, I have known Charlie Stone forever. And there's one thing you have to know about him. Get your money up front. Oh. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Barkeeper. Yes, sir. Uh, do me again. Here you go. I think you've had enough, Chase. You better leave before my mm. husband sees you. I don't want any trouble tonight, OK? Why haven't you returned my phone calls? Uh, look, it was good while it lasted, but it lasted longer than it was good. It's over. Yeah, we'll see about that. Happy birthday. What is that actor doing here? Chase was just having a drink, darling. <laughs> he had it. He left. Good. Good. I don't want anything to spoil my little birthday now. <laughs> Especially you and your little side dishes. And I finally figured out what you could give me for my birthday. A divorce. How are you, Vinny? Oh, good, good, good. Glad you can make it. Are uh, you kidding? I want to miss this party for all the strudel in Vienna, Austria, Belgium, Holland. Dr. Marcy, brilliant psychiatrist. Nice to meet you. Nice to be met. This is Christoph, the world's greatest chef. After me. Yes, of course, I'm the world's greatest. I stole all my best recipes from him. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that would be funny. Unfortunately, it's true. The schnitzel. It's very familiar. Vinny, it's my birthday, Vinny. It's my birthday. Let us bury the schnitzel. OK. Huh? You dig the hole. I'll do it. It's time, ladies <laughs> oh, and gentlemen. They want me. See you. OK. May I have your attention, please? <sighs> now, you all know we're here to celebrate Christoph's birthday, right? <laughs> now, he is exactly 20 years old tonight. <laughs> Now, the only thing that Christoph wanted for his birthday was never to be reminded of it. That's right. That's exactly right. No such luck, boss. Ta-da! Thank you, all my friends, and I do know you're my friends. You never send back my food, and you don't mind being overcharged. <laughs>
tell me, Judge Darrow, since when have they moved Shea Panache to the sixth floor of City Hall? We're just making a momentary detour. There's something I want to show you. You know, it isn't nice to keep a detective in the dark. Who said I was nice? After you, Amos. I thought you might like to see this. The art is original. The lamps are by Tiffany. Mm. The desk is old English. The view speaks for itself. What do you think? I think you're gorgeous. <laughs> About the office. Well, it's most impressive, Marion. But it is the police commissioner's office. That's right. The new police commissioner. Amos Burke. I don't remember applying for the position. The mayor and I, the entire police commission, think you're the best man for the job. All you have to do is say yes. Thank you, Marion. I'm very honored. <laughs> but I, um... But you need time to think it over. I understand that. Yeah. Take all the time you need. Just a minute. Your invitation to dinner was a ruse to make me a job offer? <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> the job offer was my ruse to get you to dinner. Table that thought. Hello, Chief Burke here. Uh-huh. Okay. Have Peter meet me there. Let me guess. Our dinner plans have been adjourned. I'm sorry, Your Honor, but I'm afraid I have a reservation at Christoph's. The special tonight is murder. Amos, my goodness, I'm glad you're here. My heart is still pounding. Boom, boom, boom. Why are you here? Me, I'm a witness. I saw everything. It was terrible. I was there watching this girl dance, and all of a sudden, pa, and he falls down dead. Christmas right there, right near his cake. Some cake, huh? Nice. Oh, some birthday. Whoa, whoa. Settle down. Okay, baby. okay. Go home, take a hunt. Uh-huh, I will, I will. And then write down everything you can remember about it. Write down everything. You want a long hand type? It makes no difference. Can it be a sponge made to we'll be in touch. Okay, okay, I'll be in touch. What a night. Chief, meet Christoph Cole. He was celebrating his birthday with some close friends when he was shot. Obviously, one of them wasn't as friendly as he thought. Family? Yeah, a wife, Alexandra Cole. Very upset, broke down crying. An officer took her home 15 minutes ago. Murder weapon? Yeah, we've got that. And the girl who pulled the trigger. That was quick. She works here as a cocktail waitress. Tracy Bird. Tracy Bird. Let's see if we can get Tracy to sing. Miss Bird? I'm Chief Burke, homicide. Oh. This is, is all a terrible mistake. The gun was, was supposed to be a prop. Prop. Tracy popped out the cake, danced around, and fired. It was fine at rehearsal, but tonight, I didn't mean to kill him. Miss Bird, I'm afraid I have to take you down to police headquarters. We have to ask you some more questions. Isn't that Johnny Fingers? Yes. You know him? Long time ago. Johnny. Hello, Amos. How have you been? I'm oh, just getting along. Are you here for the fireworks? Uh, yeah. And Amos, if it's worth anything, Tracy Bird wouldn't hurt a fly. But she did shoot Kristoff. Maybe someone switched the real gun for one of the toy ones. Anyone you know have a reason to kill him? Are you kidding, Amos? Kristoff didn't have a friend in the joint. How about you, Johnny? Me? Amos, I just sit here and play my music, that's all. Chief, look what I found. The second toy gun. It was stashed in a potted palm. Looks like you were right about the gun, Johnny. Maybe I ought to be a detective. I'm afraid you're going to have to settle for being a suspect. Police commissioner, wow. Of course, if I take the job, you're out of part, though. But my dad will be commissioner of police. Not a bad trade. OK, Tracy, you can go home now. We're not going to charge you. You're not? No, but you're still a suspect. Don't plan any trips. I'm not going to go anywhere, I swear. Oh, one last question. Whose idea was it for you to jump out of the cake and shoot Christoph with a toy gun? It was Christoph's wife, Alexandra. She said he'd love it. I don't know why she wanted to make such a big deal out of his birthday. All they ever did was fight. So it wasn't a happy marriage. Are you kidding? They hated each other. I 
believe we've just added another ingredient to our investigation. A dash of Alexandra Cole. Chief Burke, homicide. Interesting company for a woman recently widowed. My personal trainers. You need the three of them. Hmm? <laughs> they each have their specialty. Oh. Eric's is massage. Tell me, were the guns in Tracy Bird's performance your idea? Yes, toy guns. Not the one that shot my husband. Someone obviously switched one after I gave them to Tracy. I understand your marriage was less than perfect. <laughs> Way less. Uh, Eric, uh, later. Okay. Frankly, it was more of a business arrangement than a love match, which is also why our relationship worked. Christoph was a genius in the kitchen, but a disaster in the boardroom. And that's where you came in. Exactly. The cookbooks, the videos, the gourmet frozen foods, even Christoph's restaurant. I was the brains behind it all. I guess Christoph didn't see it that way. Last night, a bartender at your restaurant overheard Christoph asking you for a divorce. So? So, now that he's dead, instead of getting half of the Christoph empire, you get it all. Chief Burke, I may be a hard-headed businesswoman, but I am not cold-blooded. I could never have killed Christoph. Any idea who did? Chase Cobb. The actor. That's right. Omega Man himself. I made the mistake of being nice to Chase, and he misinterpreted my friendship. He became obsessed with me and jealous of Christoph. Jealous enough to kill him? I think Chase could do almost anything. I think I'd better cut to the chase. Help me! Somebody help! It's sayonara time, Super Samurai. God! And it's sayonara time for the effects, man. I'm gonna kill him! You all right? <laughs> Do I look all right? Get me out of this thing! Uh, I can't. It's gonna take a couple of minutes. Hang in there. I don't have to put up with this crap. Somebody call my agent! Might want to have him call your lawyer while you're at it. Police? I'd like to talk to you about Christoph Cole. I heard his birthday party turned into a real surprise party. Sorry I didn't stick around to see it. You left the restaurant just before the shooting. Why the quick exit? Hanging out at Christoph's birthday party wasn't my idea of a good time, you know? But fooling around with his wife apparently was. According to her, you were obsessed with her. Hey, I'm a mega man. I can get any woman I want. I don't have to go around killing their husbands to do it. Let me ask you something. Can you believe I gave up a Broadway career to do this? From Shakespeare in the Park to Omega Man meets Super Samurai. What a business. At least you get to wear tights in both roles. Hamlet may not have paid as much, but it was a lot more fun than this. To be or not to be. That is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune. Or, or to take arms against Christoph Cole and by opposing, end up with his wife. Look, Alexandra was a fling, nothing more. She certainly wasn't worth killing for. But this harness is killing me. God. Hey, can you give me the chair? Only if you get murder in the first degree. What do you got there, Dad? Well, the days before CDs, this was called a record album. Johnny Finger sent it to me. <laughs> Looks like a golden oldie. Well, it's a classic. It was recorded live in a little jazz club on Sunset. I was there that night as Johnny's guest. I didn't realize you two were so close. Well, I did him a favor a long time ago, helped him out of a jam. Anything unusual turn up on Christoph's finances? Still checking. His wife put him in deals all over town, including one for a cooking video with a producer named Charlie Stone. Well, that's a name I know. Yeah, he was on the guest list for Christoph's birthday party. A convicted felon. Video piracy. Looks like we've got another suspect to add to our recipe. Hey, Lily. Happy. Hello, Commissioner. It's still Chief Lily. What have you got? These are the three revolvers found at the crime scene. Two toy guns, one real one. They all look, feel, and weigh the same. Which means Tracy Bird could easily have been fooled. Mm-hmm. Could you trace it? Absolutely. This is a real gun. 
And the serial numbers have been filed off. Fingerprints? Only Tracy Bird's. So we got nothing. Well, I didn't say that. I found another set of prints on the toy gun hidden in the potted plant. Do you have a name to go with it? The Piano Man. Johnny Fingers. Hello? Anybody home? Oh, Amos Peter! What a nice surprise! Oh, my. I, I bet you're surprised, too, to see me, right? Vinny, what are you doing here? You're looking at the brand new chef at Crystal's. Ta-da! I thought I'd volunteer and help Alexandra out. You know, Chris's wife. Here. What is this? It's my confession, my statement. You know, I wrote everything down, like you told me about the other night, the murder. And I used the number two pencil, but it smudged. And so then I used the pen that I took from the bank. I don't mean that I took it. You know, the girl, sometimes they just, you know, the spelling count on this? Vinny, this is what you had to eat last night. Oh, I was so hungry. I missed my dinner. I mean, it was so awful. I didn't know whether I should have the eggplant, the schnitzel, or the rack of lamb. So you ate it all? Yeah. But I'll put this in a safe place in case I forget what's on the menu here. <gasps> what is it? I just thought of something. I left a fish in my car. Oh, Vinny, have you seen Johnny Fingers? He's in the bar. Ramon, get something wet. Hello, Amos. Johnny, this is my son, Peter. Hey, Pete, how are you? Nice to meet you. Uh, chip off the old cop, huh? <laughs> Amos, did you get the album I sent you? Oh, yeah. Just looking at it brought back a lot of memories. Ah, the bad old days. How'd you two meet? I was singing in a joint that was owned by the mob. I used to pick up a little extra money, you know, just making some deliveries for them. What kind of deliveries? They didn't tell? I didn't ask. Until I got busted by your old man. Cash and drugs. Could have put me away, but you gave me a break. Well, Johnny helped us catch a couple of big fish, and they got a suspended sentence. Your dad saved my life. And now I uh, straighten out, and I kind of sit here night after night, enjoying the show, watching the world go by. Hey, Amos, sit down. Remember this? Oh, we. Ain't got a barrel of money Maybe we're ragged and funny But we'll travel along Singing a song Side by side We're doing very good Oh, we don't know what's coming tomorrow Maybe it's trouble and sorrow But we'll travel a road Sharing our load Side by side Watch this. Through all kinds of weather. What if the sky should fall? Long as we're together, it doesn't matter at all. But um boom, when they've all had their quarrels and parted, we'll be the same as we started. Just traveling along, singing a song. <laughs> That's great, Dad. You guys make quite a team. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, somehow, Amos, I don't think you came in here to sing a duet. I'm afraid you're right, Johnny. You found your fingerprints on one of the toy guns that Tracy Bird used. Have a little faith, huh? I mean, you know I use toy guns in my show. You've seen it a million times. Mm, you dirty rat. You're gonna get plugged. Mm -hmm. Bang, bang. You remember? Was Christoph called the dirty rat you wanted to plug? Look, he was an arrogant son of a bitch. I mean, let's face it, the days of the saloon singer ain't what they used to be. He gave me a steady paycheck. If Amos taught me anything, it's stick by the guys who stick by you, right? I'd like to stick around and sing another song, but I've... <laughs> I've got another gig. Help. Amos, that was an absolutely delicious dinner. There was only one thing missing. The one subject we avoided all evening. The small matter of my becoming police commissioner. Does that mean you decided to take the job? We're very happy where we are. More coffee. 
I didn't know you had a vote in this, Henry. I'm only concerned about your well-being because I know you would not be happy stuck behind a desk in a stuffy old office. Dessert. No, thank you. And the office is not stuffy or old. It's actually quite attractive. And I'm sure we'd like it very much, Henry, if we decide to take the job. I don't believe we're even considering this. Henry. Well, I think I should be going. Yeah. Henry, will you bring the car around, please? You know, we should do this more often. You'd have more time if you were police commissioner. I don't want to press you, Amos, but the mayor is anxious for a decision. Well, you tell the mayor the jury is still out. Excuse me. Chief Burke. So what's happening? You gonna take the job? Do you have our house under surveillance? No, I just knew you were having dinner with Judge Darrow, that's all, Dad. I haven't decided yet. You'll be the first to know. Or at least Henry will be. What have you got? Well, I just got off the phone with Christoph's attorney. He told me that the video producer, Charlie Stone, hadn't paid Christoph any royalties in over six months. I'm sure Christoph must have been thrilled by that. Furious. Christoph is about to file a lawsuit today. Only now that he's dead... Well, we've added some spice to our recipe. Some money and a generous helping of greed. Put them all together and what have you got? Murder. Let's get set up for the Sally Creature love scene. Angela, good. Noon, perfect. Thanks, Ron. Hey, don't forget, I'm a serious actor. Of course. Mr. Stone, police. You're not gonna bust my chops on the filming permits, are you? My assistant's supposed to take care of it. The homicide detectives. How do you feel about Christoph Cole? He was like my big brother, sort of. And like some big brothers, he was stealing his allowance, sort of. What are you talking about? A thousand dollars of cooking video royalties? Listen. I told Kristoff he couldn't get his money until I got paid by the distribution people. It's that simple. Well, let's simplify it even more. Did you commit murder to kill his lawsuit? No way. I've been called a lot of things, but never an idiot. Kristoff was my meal ticket. He was good for four or five more videos. Each one made a fortune. So tell us, if you were producing a video about Kristoff's murder, who would you cast as the killer? Oh, it's easy. Last week, I heard him fighting with someone in the kitchen. She screamed that she was going to kill Kristoff first chance she had. His wife, Alexandra. No. A little bird named Tracy. Tracy! Hi! You're a jogger? Yeah. Your roommate told me I'd find you out here. Yeah, gotta stay in shape. Still trying to make it as an actress. I didn't realize you acted. Yeah, that's why I moved here from Ohio. Started all the school plays back home, you know, thought I'd give Hollywood a shot. So waitressing is just something to pay those bills, huh? Yeah, but barely. I mean, the real reason I work at Kristoff's is to make contacts. A lot of important people in the business come in there. Like chili con carne with onions. <laughs> I beg your pardon? Jack Nicholson's regular. Uh, uh, chicken and peppers, goat cheese pizza. Who would that be? Warren Beatty. Of course. Yeah, I mean, all the big stars at Kristoff's. But my first professional acting job was popping out of that cake. I understand you had a fight at Kristoff's in the restaurant's kitchen. You know about that? What was it about? He promised me a raise, and then went back on his word. I really needed the money to make ends meet. You threatened to kill him. I didn't mean it. I was angry. I mean, he, he was totally taking advantage of me. I lost my cool. You should have let me know about this sooner, Tracy. Sorry. I guess it makes me look kind of guilty, huh? Kinda. Jog all you want. Just don't try to run, okay? Hey, Dad. What do you got? Vinny's amended statement about the night of the murder. Yeah. You may have a whole new career ahead of him as novelist. Listen to this. The night was fraught with anticipation of schnitzel and heartburn as I began the long and ominous journey from Santa Monica to Kristoff. <laughs> I could go on, but it takes five pages for him to get to the restaurant. 
I think I'll wait for the Reader's Digest version. What did Tracy Bird have to say? She threatened Kristoff when he refused to give her a raise. That's all. Do you believe her? I don't know. I want to, but I still think we have to consider her a suspect. Yeah. Along with Charlie Stone, the producer, the wife, Alexandra Cole, the superhero, Chase Cobb, and our crooner, Johnny Fingers. Our pot's getting full. Too many crooks spoiled the stew. Burke's Law? Yikes. Bad, Dad, bad. Who's hungry? I am. Sorry, Pete. This piece is for your dad. Thank you, Louie. Hey. There's a ring in my cake. Exactly. According to Tracy Bird's statement, the two guns were already inside Kristoff's birthday cake when she climbed in. So I went over that cake every square inch inside and out, and I found that ring buried in the frosting. Looks too big to fit Tracy Bird's finger. Find the owner of that ring, and you found your killer. Maybe we'll get lucky. There'll be fingerprints. It won't be necessary. I know who this ring belongs to. Vinny. I'm fishing. You know, my doctor said go fishing because it would help me with my tension and my stress. You know, it's very hard being a murder suspect. All right. Come on, monstro. Here you go. Back to the arms of Neptune. Woof! Uh, I see your ring is missing, Vinny. Yeah, it was right here, and then all of a sudden it was gone. I couldn't find it anywhere. I know where the heck that thing is. Look familiar, Vinny? Oh, there it is. You found it. Wait a minute. This is an evidence bag. Isn't this where you put the murder evidence? It was found inside the birthday cake that Tracy Bird jumped out from when she shot Kristoff. Before the murder, someone reached into the cake and switched a real gun, one of her toy guns. Wait a minute. I assembled that cake. I co of course I was there, but I mean, that's when I probably lost my ring. Come on, please. I'm innocent. Everybody seems to have a beef with Kristoff. What about you, Vinny? No. Well, maybe yes. This goes back 20 years now. He was just about to put Kristoff's together. He had no money. He was hurting bad. I was doing well, so I bankrolled him big. Then Alexandra came and changed everything. She froze me out. They froze me out. How much money you lose? Well, you see, it wasn't that exactly. They paid me back the money as if it was a loan, just a loan. But it was an investment. We shook hands on it by rights. I should be half owner of Kristoff's. Wait a minute. Is that starting to sound like a motive? That's me. Vinny. I've got to ask. I, I find it hard. Did you switch the guns? No. I swear on my mother's grave. Your mother's still alive. It's just an expression. Besides, this is going to kill her. You got me all confused. I'm innocent. I did not do it. I want to believe you, Vinny. But that ring makes you the number one suspect. Ow. Oh. Dad, listen to this. Even though the serial number and the murder weapon had been filed off, I had Lily run a gun registration check on all of our suspects. Christoph was shot with a Colt 45 revolver. Guess what? Someone we know is a registered owner of the exact same model. Bullseye. It's not me. No, no, it's a Mega Man, Chase Cobb. Chase, in recognition of your achievements, we're happy to present you with this star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Yeah. special day for me because of you all of my loyal Omega Man fans you really made this possible I'll never forget this as long as I live and I thank you from the bottom of my heart all right. All right. thank you it was a good ceremony congratulations thank you thank you sir look I already talked to the police well I have a few more questions for you <laughs> Can you believe that I studied for five years at the Royal Academy and I get this star for playing a comic book character? You're not Omega Man. Sure I am. Then use your X-ray vision to tell me it's in my pocket. My X-ray vision only works when I'm wearing my cape. Then duck in the alley and put it on. Give me a break, kid. I'm busy, all right? Look, Detective, there's a luncheon in my honor starting in 10 minutes. Can we make this quick? Fine. Gun registration records show you own a revolver identical to the one used to kill Christoph Cole. Wrong. See, I used to own one. It was stolen a couple of weeks ago. Stolen from where? Christoph's. At least let me see fly. 
I can't right now. I'm busy. Okay, then. Just hover. A couple of feet off the ground, that's all. Get away from me, kid. You bother me. Thank you. You were saying your gun was stolen from Crystal. I was in the bar, I had a couple of drinks, and I passed out. Two bourbons, and I'm under the table. I've been complaining that they were watering the drinks. I guess they gave me a full dose to shut me up. And when you came to... My gun was missing, all right? Did you report the theft to the police? You're kidding. Yeah, I mean, the gun was registered, but I didn't have a carry permit. See, wouldn't have been too smart to file a report now, would it, Detective? Your fan's back. If you're really Omega Man, use your super strength to crush this brick. Look, I'm just an actor. You understand? Understand? Here's the big fake. <laughs> you know, that kid isn't far from the truth. I just hope everything you told me is. <sighs> How's the chair feel? It's more comfortable than I imagined. It's nice. Hmm? It's really nice. You's not too shabby either. This mean you made up your mind? It's a tough decision, Peter. Well, you never backed away from tough decisions before, Dad. Yeah, but this one is different. It's not only about the job. I'd miss working with you. Me too. But you can't let that hold you back. I mean, we're a team. You're not only my son, you're my partner, you're my friend. And we'll always be a team, Dad, no matter what the job. Thanks. I guess I should get too comfortable in this chair yet. We still have Christoph Cole's killer to catch. I just talked to Highway Patrol. They caught our young waitress, Tracy Bird, doing 95 miles an hour on Interstate 15. Joyride? Afraid not. She's on her way to Vegas with everything she owns packed in her car. She was running. I guess young Tracy's one bird we should have kept caged. I was scared. Everyone thinks I killed Kristoff. Running is no way to prove you're innocent. The best thing you can do to help yourself now is to tell us the truth. Kristoff was always coming on to me, harassing me. About um, a month ago, my car broke down. He drove me home. He insisted on walking me to the door. And then he insisted on coming inside. And then he forced himself on me. He raped you. I'm sorry. Why didn't you go to the police? I don't know. I guess I was afraid no one was gonna believe me. And then Christoph called, said he was sorry, made all these promises, begged me to stay. God, it was stupid. Is that what the argument in the kitchen was really about? He was grabbing at me again, trying to kiss me. I just freaked out. And threatened to kill him? Yeah. But I never could have done it, no matter what. You lied to us once. Why should we believe you now? I don't expect you to. Are you going to lock me up? Absolutely if you killed Crystal. In the meantime, do us all a favor. Stay off the interstate. Morning, Dad. Morning, Henry. Oh, morning, Henry, me. He's in a bad mood. Trouble sleeping again, Henry? Yes. He's worried I'm going to take the job as police commissioner. So, if he's commissioner, all he'll do is sit around the desk all day. Which means you'll be sitting around all day. That's right. We're crime fighters, not bureaucrats. Peter, have you ever considered a chauffeur for your Jeep? One word, Henry. No. Let's go. Where? Johnny Finger's called. He's got something to show me. You know, Amos, I've always tried to find a way to thank you. Now, 
<laughs> I think I found the way. What's this? Business records from Tristan. Now, listen, Amos, when you take a look at them, you'll see that once a month, for the last two years, they made huge payments to a company called International Restaurant Services. I never heard of them. You never heard of them? I never heard of them. Nobody at the restaurant ever heard of them. $8 million worth of services never rendered. So I did a little digging. Make that a lot of digging. You're always good at that. Amos, it's a dummy corporation. It says here, yeah, there's $8 million sitting in a bank account in the Cayman Islands. Ah, uh, wait a minute. Take a look who's listed as officers in the corporation. Christoph's widow, Alexandra Cole, and producer, Charlie Stone. And get this, they also applied for residency visas in the Caymans two days before Christoph was killed. The Cayman Islands are a perfect place to get away from it all, especially an indictment for murder. I mean, if one ingredient is wrong, a little too little, a little too much, the whole stew is ruined. Really? Care. Gotta take a lot of care. You take it's a lot of care. It's all your fault. It's my fault. It was your idea. If we get caught, I swear I'll kill you. I, I, I should never have listened to you. I'm tempted to go to the police myself. Oh, that'd be real smart. I think so, too. Chief. <laughs> Chief Berg. Well, Charlie and I were just discussing how to fix Christoph's new video. Well, you've got eight million in the Caymans. That might help. I told you it wouldn't work. I don't know what she's talking about. Look. I have to go. I have an appointment. Hey, Charlie, where are you going? Show's not over. The way we figure it, you two are having an affair and embezzling from the restaurant. Christoph found out and threatened you, Charlie, with a lawsuit, and you with a divorce. So you decided to kill him. You figured Tracy Bird would take the rap and you'd be in the Caymans with all that money. That's not true. What we did, we did for love. My marriage was a joke. Christoph was more interested in souffle than sex. And I had as much right to that money as Christoph. We may be guilty of many sins, but murder is not one of them. We're innocent. I hardly think the word innocent applies to you, Alexandra. Are there any commandments you haven't broken? Just one. Thou shalt not kill. Let's hope thou art telling the truth. You know how you said this case was like a recipe? Yeah. Well, I've been thinking. We have all the ingredients for murder. Alexander and Charlie were cheating and stealing. Yeah. Chase Cobb is the jealous lover. Tracy was raped. Johnny's prints were found on the toy gun. And Vinny got screwed out of the business. Yeah. Plus, we've got the murder weapon, and the owner of the murder weapon, and the girl who pulled the trigger. And yet, we have nothing to really sink our teeth into. That's right. Who was that on the phone? My doctor. I called him about my insomnia. He said he'd write me a prescription for sleeping pills. Sleeping pill? That's it. You think I should take them? Oh, no, no. Stick to the war milk, but you've told me how we can find our killer. Peter, we need a readout of all California class three prescriptions used by our suspects. You got it. You want to tell me why? Well, Chase Scott said he passed out after a couple of drinks. What if he had help in the form of a Mickey? You, you mean someone spiked his drink to knock him out and steal his gun? I think that's the missing ingredient to our recipe. But, Dad, even if one of our suspects has a prescription, it doesn't prove anything. Or even that Chase Cobb is innocent. All right, leave that to me. I want you to invite all of our suspects to Christoph's with an RSVP as soon as possible. Tell them we'll be serving up a murderer. I want to thank you all for coming on such short notice. I thought you might like to know who was responsible for the murder of Christoph Cole. Alexandra, did you really think you'd get away with that? I swear I did not kill Christoph. Oh, I know that. The FBI is extremely interested in your overseas finances. Thou shalt not steal, Alexandra. A lesson to live by. Charlie Stone. You are guilty. Guilty of what? Making lousy movies. <laughs> so do half the people in this town. Can't throw me in jail for that. But you're an embezzler. You've turned your financial records over to the district attorney. 
Chase Scott, the good news is that you'll never have to play Omega Man again. What's the bad news? That you're just another unemployed actor now. Let's hope with your next part, you'll be carried to even greater heights. Hmm? Oh, Vinny. Vinny. Oh, Wavis, I don't like the way you're looking at me. Well, you had every reason to kill Christoph Cole at his birthday party. You mean I did it? I really did it. I, I don't remember. I must have blacked out. I have low blood sugar. I just, oh, Amos, I'm so sorry. No, we know you wouldn't even harm a fly. You mean, I'm, I'm him. I'm innocent. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so relieved. I got to sit down. Oh, Ramon, dinner for two. I need a snack. Johnny Fingers, my old pal. I guess it's like you said, huh? sit at your piano, play your music, and watch the world go by. Is that right? That's right, Amos. And I'm never surprised by what I see. I wish I could say the same. Tracy, I guess the case has come full circle now. It started with you, and it's ending with you. What are you saying? It's time to drop the act, Tracy. Christoph assaulted you. You killed him for it. You know exactly what you were doing when you pulled the trigger. No, I am not a killer. Someone did switch the guns. Peter. Oh, my God. I didn't do it. You've got to believe me. That's for a judge to decide now. I didn't do it. No. Let her go. What is it, Johnny? She didn't do it. That's not the way we see it. I switched the guns. Oh, my God. Tracy didn't know anything about it. Prove it to me, Johnny. When Kristoff hurt her, she came to me. She was in tears, devastated. Nobody should get away with what he did to her. And that's when I vowed. That's when I vowed right then that he was going to pay. So you spiked Chase's drink with chloral hydrate to knock him out and steal his gun. He found your prescription. Then you switched one of the toy guns for the real thing so that Tracy would shoot him. Poetic justice, Johnny. I never thought you'd hang this on, Tracy Amos. I never intended to. I just had to hear the truth from you. Tracy, you're free of him now. Kristoff can't hurt you anymore. Tony. <laughs> it's time to face the music, Johnny. Linguini in a white clam sauce. Oh, oh. Bravo, bravissimo. Hey, miss, that looks absolutely beautiful. Thank you. You know, I could get used to this, Commissioner. I think we should begin with a toast. To my very special friend, Judge Marion Darrow. I want to thank you for the honor for being considered for police commissioner. Hear, hear. Are you accepting the offer? I've given a lot of thought, Marion, and I've decided that I am the best man for the job that I already have. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. So am I. Mm. But I understand. Well, well, wait, wait a second. I hope you're not doing this because of me, Dad. Oh, no, son. I'm doing because of me. Besides, there's still a trick or two I haven't taught you yet. Well, in that case, I'd like to make a toast of my own. To the chief. To chief. the chief. 